to the next one which is uh, self-introduction. So can we start right from there? Can you please use the mic? Thank you. Good afternoon, our evil chairman of the Nutria Commission of Sierra Leone. Good afternoon to all commissioners, directors, Good afternoon to colleagues, members of the First Estate. I am Fatima Momiduba, National Women's Leader for the Alliance Democratic Party, ADP. Good afternoon, um, Chairman. Good afternoon, all members of this uh, My name is Ibrahim Soma Matogo, Chairman and Leader of the Alliance Democratic Party based on the United States. Yeah, my name is um, Richard Kelly, the National Secretary General of the UAPP, United National People's Party. Good afternoon all. I'm Said Ukagbo, National Deputy Secretary General of the People's Democratic Party, BDP Sobe, and the Council Member, APA. Good afternoon all. I'm Andrew Kembe, the National Secretary General for Revolutionary United Front Party, RUFP. Good afternoon, my name is Nabil Zakama, National Chairman and former <laughs> Presidential Candidate and National Secretary of Good afternoon, my name is Aladji KCC, Deputy Chairman of the Republic National Independent Party, Financial Secretary of My name is Victor King, National Chairman of Citizens Democratic Party and also the chairman for the uh, Media and Communication Committee in the World Political Party Association, APA. Good afternoon, everybody. To Brian Jalo, former role in the PDP Soviet, also deputy chairman for PDP. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'm the Brian Soisisi, to Secretary General of Citizens Democratic Party, and also the Secretary General of APA. Good afternoon. My name is Prince Kuka. I am the chairman and leader for the People's Democratic Party and also
also the former presidential candidates for the People's Democratic Party. That was to be the chairman for the whole political parties as usual. Abba. So good morning to you all. Uh, on behalf of the commission here, I want a oh, good afternoon. Sorry, so I will start off from the commissioner five. He is the commissioner for the northwest, Mr. Albert S. Kano. Closer to the commissioner northwest, we have commissioner Abubakar Kuruma. He is also the commissioner for the northeast. And I have Mr. Sylvester Alpha. He is also the commissioner for the South, the Guru. <laughs> and I have our own immediate boss here for Western, our host. She is the commissioner for Western area, both Oban and Rural, Commissioner Mosere. I also have the commissioner for the East, Far East, she is also in charge of the Eastern Region, Commissioner Miriam Sia, Mrs. Miriam Sia, Numa Moijue, and the most important person in charge of the institution, and I'm sure he is the one that you want to talk to and the rest of the board, he is Mr. Mohamed Kone, Kenewi Kone, he is the CEC and Chairman for the Electoral Commission for Sierra Leone. We also have senior colleagues here, but that will remain from the back end. So you are welcome. Yes. Mr. Chairman, Commissioner, um, we'll move next to the next agenda, which is um, the Chairman of the Mass and the Incident Area. All these political parties that we see in here we took part in the election. And in this room today, we have two former presidential candidates and two former ruling mates. The truth of the matter, we're here on based on the assessment of the outcome of the results. Indeed, we partake in the just concluded election. And the outcome of the result, we are well satisfied with it. Because based on, on our findings and the entire process, because we are part of the, the entire process from the electoral calendar, we attend all details in meetings, all decisions we are taken at details in meetings. All of us agreed and disagreed. So we are filled with the entire electoral process. And during the electoral day, during the voting day, we deployed a lot of party agents in which you accredited us. In fact, this is the very first election I see opposition, small opposition party. We deployed a lot of polling agents. This is the very first time. So on that note, we're here.
to give you an accurate and compatibility of commission. Because the election, you accept the result all at the Because the election was free, fair, and credible. I think this is the very first time this kind of gesture is coming from an opposition angle. Because all along, all these, we normally cry foul, foul, foul. One side is signing another part, or this or that. But for us, we believe that part comes from God. We are just on the PPRC. Now we are the ECSL. Because we believe that the election is free, fair, and credible. And we hold this political party we have a level playing field. Last week, we were with the security sector to give them an accolade because we provided security for both presidential and all inmates. I think this is the very first time we have all those opportunities. I normally say that the Bible says, give honor to those who honor is to you and give praises to those that deserve to be praised. We need to leave to that pulling dogs in syndrome. When something is good, we need to see it's good. To be honest, all of us contest to me. I would have loved to be president. Trust me, without no talk. I know what opposition means. And we know what opposition means. It is very painful and difficult for you to be in opposition for five years. That is the reason why we are fazilious to, to contest for presidency. But trust me, God says our time is not right. This is one of the most credible free and fair elections I've ever seen in this country. Under this name, under your leadership, sir. Make no joke about it. One of the most free, fair, and credible and level playing field for all of us. So today we are here to give you an accolade, to congratulate you. And this is one of the most peaceful elections we've ever had. Let's fight it. That was the most. Though, there's a lot of big challenges from your side and from our constituents. But all those things we are managed professionally. We observe, we went right across. You deploy and your staff, we are well professional. They manage some of those challenges. As an association, we observed the, 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 the election. We saw some voters stopping some of your staff by trying to extract some ballot dots on either some voting materials. Oh, praise be to God, all those things we have managed professionally. That was the reason why we decided to give you an accolade. It is not just because it's a favor we want to uh, 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 compliment the effort, no. But we want to live up to expectation. When, when people do good, we need to praise them. So that is the reason we are here. For a job well done. We hope, and for us as political parties, we are well prepared to do our assignments for the next coming election. Because what we notice and what we gather, if you want to win an election, you need to do your assignment very well by working with your constituents. So, on that note, we are here to congratulate you and you actually do a professional work. All of us, we are hoping, we are expecting that this election will be a lot of violence. We are not expecting that one week, two weeks we will be sitting at this room. But thank God, you are doing it professionally. I think uh, this is the very first time we have so very good generals from your part. In fact, more far above five star generals. <laughs>
speed matcher. Because the reason being, during people's meeting, we have a very good interaction. We are friendly. You created the level playing field for all of us. During PPLC meeting, we don't have big or small political parties. We are all equal. Registered political parties. In fact, I can recall that, in fact, most of the, for us as a smaller party, we talk more than the, 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 the two bigger parties at PPLC meeting. He creates that platform for us. If we are not here today to do the accolades, our conscience will not serve us right as an association. Because you do a professional work. We'll be thinking that this election will be one of the most crucial elections. Of course, yes. Because by hearing all the social media threats, this and that and that and that, all the mummy calls. But you see true. I can recall, or we can recall us. I was in this room, claiming that maybe I would. Yes, the MP on the PI system. But trust me, oh, you understand, but now we know that it's, for you to be MP, you need to do that more. More. But I thank God, or we thank God. Just imagine for us as a financial weaker political party, for my brother, former presidential candidate to score about 6,000 votes, 7,000 7, votes. Okay. 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 It's very, very well. For me to score 5,000 and above, it's a very good starting. You know, it's a very, very good starting. So, your commission have done a very good job, and today we have the peace that we have today now. More peaceful. Over peaceful to the honor because I've ceased. <laughs> so, on that note, under your leadership, sir, with the commissioners, we say thanks and congratulations to you. And we hope and pray that the next election will have a safe, level, and fair play for all of us. And I repeat, for the first time, to you, this is coming from the opposition angle. From opposition angle. Thank God the ruling party is not here. And this is not even because we have 10 political parties in our power, but these are the nine political parties from the opposition angle. To give you an accolade, that we accept the result. Hopefully, with our hearts, and the election is free, fair, and credible. Thank you very much. Chairman has stated uh, the reason why we are here. Of course, as he said, give honor to whom honor is due. Of course, we want to commend the commission. That cannot be over and over time because we, we stand the pleasure of the heat to um, do national sacrifice. So we know it's not easy. There are times we have to. Um, argue with concern, but we want to say a big thank you for creating the platform, more especially um, the political party you saw on the committee. Before the elections, issues were channeled, discussed in that committee, and then and we have started the position then we move forward. Of course, we believe that as an association, the elections that you've conducted under your leadership, Mr. Chairman and Commissioner, was free, fair, and credible. We want to send a message to political parties, more especially the leadership of political parties and politicians, that we should be seen to embrace good sportsmanship. 
more especially when it brings to race, election should not be seen as a do or die issue, but rather as a contest of ideas we are in to present our programs to electorate for them to understand our position and vision for this country. Because whatever political party um, that won this election, it is not about party A or party B, but it's about Sierra Leone. It's Sierra Leone that, that won. So we want to create an atmosphere to discourage our sentiment wherein people just believe it. if it's not me, then it's not going to happen. Let us come to reflect that. For other political parties, we believe even um, in modern democracies, there are challenges, more especially when we talk to announce, our people raise concerns over it. Some are genuine, but for the national interest, for peace and national cohesion, because as political parties, we have a role to play, more especially towards nation building. So that is why um, after elections, we are encouraging other political parties for us to see reason as to how we can work together for national peace and cohesion. Because once elections are over, what we think about now is development. And we have a role to play as political parties. So we are craving on the indulgence of other political parties to do likewise, as we said, we comprise of 10 minister political parties. Of course, most of the political parties, the um, presidential candidates, they have considered fit. In fact, we've made our position, right? Because all what we want to see now is for us to work collectively, because we believe this is the time our people need us most. So therefore, we should be seen working together towards national development and peace. So um, as the chairman said, we want to thank you very much for creating the level playing field. Though we are unable to make a, a parliament or a political party or council, but we believe um, the next election will work on Africa to be better. But for national development and peace, we all work together. We encourage our political party for them to do likewise because we all have one schedule. Let nationalism override all regional sectional or any um, partisan uh, loyalty or beliefs. So we have only one nation, which is clearly, let us all work together to see how best we can call your intervention. So as an association, we want to thank you very much, and we look forward to continue working with you um, as a commission. We thank you very much for your openness, your timely response to issues. So we want to say very much thank you to you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I think we will get to from the Commission. Well, at this really we are moving. If you say, uh, no, wait until I die before you begin praise me. <laughs> so you guys have sex day example that you appreciate what we did. And uh, on behalf of the Electoral Commission also, I want to congratulate Una. Uh, I think it's really we can boast of the fact that we have, in terms of age average, the youngest political leadership in Africa. The way you look at your ages, I'm sure many are just above, many of you are just above 40. And uh, for you, <laughs> some are even below 40. <laughs> so that, that, that's, uh, that shows how far we have come and in the Several years back, when you talk about politicians, you'd be looking at gray hair. Uh, there's a story of uh, way back in Kailam, when a doctor with two doctorate degree wanted to contest against um, average literate MP, 
who has been there for years. And uh, he was introduced by his colleagues that, oh, this our brother has two doctorates, but the current MP we have, you know, hasn't got to the university. So why can't we consider this doctor with the two PhD? And they have this old man in the corner. Then he stood up and said, okay, he said the current MP and the man with the two PhDs are brothers. But the, the reality is, Uda who wants na this constituency, and that man will not get degree. So <laughs> let him brother give one of the PhD. So we we'll vote for. <laughs> so in other words, um, politics is all about that. We are all um, social unions, and uh, we all want the best for the country. That's why we all go into this um, competition. But at the end of the, the process, there is only one president when we talk about the presidency, and there is going to be only one winner. So if we all have developed <clears throat> manifestos for the development of the country, I think there is a way you can work with the winner or the winner to bring on board your own idea so that collectively we can develop the country. So I think that's all the essence of politics and the political parties existing. Um, we are not expecting everybody will be happy with the outcome of it. But I know standing, it is good that many people of this country appreciated the fact that this is the first time we conducted elections, people were moving about their normal cause and um, vehicles we applying the route. We announced the results and the people jubilated and the country continue to live in peace. I think that's the most important thing. And these were the objectives we set for ourselves that A, as an institution, we are going to build on what was, what has been laid over the years in terms of the processes and procedure for electionary process. And the B, we will ensure that we conduct elections peacefully where everybody will be going about their normal occurrences and the elections will be credible and participatory. I think um, we achieve all of this and as a result, we follow the laws, we follow the regulations, the Public Elections Act, the Constitution. And that's the reason when we announce the results, we've not had any court case. I think um, that's also is a precedent. 207, there was an attempt by uh, Berawa to go to court. 2012, SFP went to court. 2018, APC went to court. But this election, there's no court case. So it means we follow the law, the processes and procedure, and people participated in the process. And uh, because that's the only legal means that we can take if we are agreed. And if you have your evidence that the process is so fraud. So we call on, you know, um, every Israel union to appreciate what we've done. We have laid a very strong foundation and it, is, it would be an example for other countries to come and learn from us rather than we we'll continue to criticize our processes and procedure, which we know we are, we are all part of it. Um, on behalf of the Commission, again, let me congratulate you and the bold step you have taken to come and congratulate us and appreciate the process that you all participated in and for the fact that you have given us the past mark as a Commission, we are very much satisfied and that's going to ginger us to do more because every electoral process, at the end of every electoral process, there are always lessons that we learn. And the commission will be soon going for a retreat to review the electoral, the, the activities, and then take on board the good lessons, improve on them, and where weaknesses exist, we try to improve on them to make the next electoral cycle much, much better than this one. 
and that's why it is important for political parties, especially the parties that have um, one seat in parliament, to go to parliament and look at the legal provisions in the constitution, in the public elections act, and then bring on board things that will improve on the processes and procedure. The thing about us, people normally say, you are so relaxed, the commissioners were so relaxed, because we try to follow what we have in the law or the regulations. As long as we had followed that, we feel at ease in doing whatever we did during the, during the process. But there are still things that we can learn. I mean, looking at your participation, I remember the chairman of APA when we came for the um, declaration for the uh, uh, PR system, and he stood up, he will be going to parliament. So I think these are areas, if we think that the threshold we use was disadvantageous to smaller political parties, these are areas we can, we can look into. If we, as political parties, would feel that the Electoral Commission should uh, project results to Italy, these are things that we can have in the Public Elections Act. If we think that political and the public ele the electoral commission should establish or publish disaggregated data, these are things that we could have there in the public elections act. At the moment, what we have and what we have complied with, it says that we release the certified district results, summary of district results to political parties. That's what we've done. So the question or the request for us to release disaggregated data, that's it's not in the law. And if the commission needs to consider that, that's it's not mandatory. And there is no timeline for us to bring that, even if we want to do that. So it is important for political parties to look at the lessons they have learned, all of us in this electoral cycle, and see how we can improve and enhance the processes and procedure of the Electoral Commission, the capacity, the efficiency of the Electoral Commission, so that there will be no question of whether it is the discretion of the Electoral Commission or not, because its provisions are there in the law. So these are some of the things I think going forward we should be talking about. Elections are over. We are not looking at today, is the, it's one month since we the pool, right? So the presidential term is one month gone, or just about a month gone. So we are talking about four year, 11 months. So it means if we want to have a better and uh, improve or enhance and strengthen the electoral the democratic processes, it is this time that we have to sit back and look at the areas that we need to improve upon. And I think we are very much proud, not I think, we are very much proud as an institution that even the time we took to release the final results was way reduced compared to previous elections. Previous election, they will start really results 25%, 40%, but two, two results were called, the first and the last, 60%. And all of this happened because of diligent planning and taking on board some of the concerns that were raised in 2018, that the anxiety of people to wait for long, for a week for a result to be released. We took that as a challenge. We also took into account the number of centers. That's why even though some poll stations will open late, but everybody that went to cast their votes, they did so. For the first time, we the last pool was closed at 11 o'clock uh, at night. That means that's how far we went to ensure that everybody had the opportunity to cast their vote. And we think, without anybody telling us as an institution, I think we deserve uh, an A plus in the conduct of the elections. The election polling day, tally is not the, the, the it's not, the pro it's not the only process in the electoral cycle. It started long ago, and each of these, each, at each stage of the process, 
We brought on board people. Demands were made. One demand after another, we attend to them. So we are, as an institution, we are very much open to political parties to come on board and help us improve on the next electoral cycle. But as far as this election is concerned, as we promised the country, we promised the nation that the elections will go ahead on the 24th of June. It went ahead, results were counted, and we have winners. And I think we can now proceed to the next level of development of the country. And I thank you so much for coming, and thank you for appreciating us. God bless all. Madam Alina, you can give the vote of thanks. Well, viewers, uh, so the meeting with the CSL gets to its own political parties association. Don't come to an end. We want to say plenty thank you to UA Dewitwi and UA Watch the Live Twi as this Nasera Network and the name Nasila Kemtakam.
so say we go meet back. Always stay glue and stay put as Sierra Network will continue for the give you the very best of broadcasting as thin and they unfold. Now we continue. Mama Salon.
Do you understand? Hey brother, you say, say when you enter the mirror, believe me, you be a presidential candidate, you contest your loss, you go see now they will give. No party, they con con if they conduct, ECLT conduct 50 elections here, you already lost when they go in opposition, they see now So who that now, we go call for camp or not election, we will all go accept the election fight. Even you call, you pull Joe, Joe Biden in America. Say, let me talk about the Cambi Electoral Commission. Yeah. So, God, now one, now one winner will just get from it. Even you get 20 party will contest. When the one winner they win, you wonder why the wide opposition will take it in a row. Even now, it's more than yeah. put in a year. Anyone will lose, you will take it in a row. Now, tell you, now the same thing with him, God will go. No matter what they help, not a man there. A lot of people are pushing A lot of people are pushing this. Not only in the political angle, not being in the spiritual realm. God they provide for people and they eat every, each and every day. Every day they eat. God they make them in life. But in the left, they go occupy them. Then they left, they do bad back. So, but they tell me, even if now God come up, he can do it. But even at that, what makes sense and rebel against God? What makes sense? Satan will be the best singer for God. But because of Satan not being very powerful, he said they go for milk. Now, so we there on that. We are humans. We get to accept all those. Those plenty of bank for We are humans. What do you mean to your message to them people in the comment line for some of them? Because as you see the game, now, 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 you forget the spirit. What's going to be the case? Well, I want to make them know, see, you know, my brother, this is very simple. If you see the for 11 years, I said, we be there in opposition. What be there in opposition? Not to answer the question. Two consecutive, 2012, sorry, 2007, and the 2012, that the same election where ECS and corrupt, and they corrupt. They win them. We all accept the result. We don't know what it comes to. We all, even me, we accept the result. If we're white, then now, then we'll say no, then we're waiting for it. And power not to buy force. Mind you, if me for them, I for being one of the most bitter person because I contest for president and I want for win. I know which opposition me. In fact, I'm the longest I've been in opposition. Fifteen years. Let's say then just come on a power. Fifteen years. 20, 2012, 2018, 2023 back at the opposition. You know what I mean? But I still get the faith and courage. He will not just come on yesterday, then I see the great call. Well, what about Una way? In fact, I can say some of we are we are in the permanent opposition. <laughs> so, so, so you don't get any No, that, that's what tell you to tell and say. I get faith say twenty in the next election, twenty twenty eight, you understand? I'll create a big impact, you understand? I'll be part you're in government. But that for telling say they forget game speed. Uh -huh. They forget game speed. I just know the commissioner talk about the um, eleven point nine percent for making get attention for being a parliamentarian. Of course, of course. That in fact, thank God, this is a night. We come up from your mouth, see, I think, see, who side and fall short, and we go to the drawing board and see how best they can improve on that. I think they don't see now, you know, the 11.9, a high threshold way, none of them can financially make a partner. You understand? But I thank God for next election, we go back to the drawing board, and we say we find pressure, you understand? I think that's actually we need to come down if we go back on the You understand? But I think, see, I want for encourage everybody to have a team spirit. Election, I want most win. You understand? The one we win, we for embrace them and think about development. Now, you win on the most streets, you understand? Nobody knows what you want for president. If you know what you want, not you see at the kind of points and the pocket You understand? But when God don't make one post, you don't win. And power comes from God. When God don't make one post, you don't win. We just congratulate her. Embrace them and see how better you can forge ahead. For the development of the country. You don't necessarily need to say first you go president before you go make input into the development of this country. Even in opposition, we can make an input. You understand? We can make an input. You get it? So definitely, we go ahead and encourage them to say, hey, boycott not the field and boycott not good for them. You understand? It's not good for the nation. You understand? Therefore, go and they get a responsibility when the people are not good. And they owe allegiance to the people, the constituents, not the party allegiance. Even me, when says you understand, I know who allegiance, all the party allegiance to my party. But to the constituents, we they vote for you. You understand? Now they we all allegiance to because they vote for you for go represent them. But some of them say the constituents are not representing Well, I think if you know, they say that we need to deceive the people because we get some of those people and they need to be able to know that they are not representing them. I don't use those people anymore.
the Stambolian disease with it. Because if you vote an MP, for who represents you, following constituency develop. Hmm? Following constituency develop, then your community develop. Not for your party develop. So, me, I don't believe, say, if me vote you as an MP, for go represent my own constituency, then if me go tell you, say, no, no good, then I get poor drain, po, po, uh, po drainage, you understand? We don't get good water facility, you understand? We community, it's so dead down to that way, they say, you say, no good represent me. Whether you be honorable, I feel for me to develop me, and my constituency or not, and my community. I don't feel, say, then, then people need to come up from their own mouth, you understand? Because, what do you mean? Papa, well, if, a part of it being, being a police, I mean, say, represent the community, the community, the community. I didn't in the community. So we know we know by advice and we only able to say, you understand? So no go represent we in a parliament. You understand? I don't believe so. Hmm? But uh, those of all party allegiance, but party allegiance for the work. You understand? But I want to encourage the people then to go to do that job. You understand? If you want to do like it today, hmm? if you, if I get appointment, government call me say that I can do the first thing I will go, the country I will go, the nation I will go, not to a party I will go. But I will still be a member of my party. But if I get the call in government, say, President Bill say, Baba, I want you to come help me in this waiting call. My party now tell me say, no go work. Because now the country I will have the gents, so the country I will go work for. And I'm the country I want for develop. But I, I will still maintain my position on my party, but the country I will work for. You understand? So now the same patriotism, they say for demonstrate. Now country in the Kawo, now country in the Kasa, not to party in the Kasa. Some of them people when they say they like it today, they are the party like this. Some of, in fact, some of them are not starting to much. You see that this party too much, they will not know that party. So wait till I do protest with the protest. Can you make any sense, my brother? You understand? Me say, I hope you, you understand, for contributing to the nation, to the state. And I want to do that. If I have the opportunity, if I get a calling from His Excellency, I'll do it. I will serve the state. But I will still be a member of my party. My party will not get any other you will say, no go, you understand? I will tell you, say, no joke, you feel no joke. Because I come inside politics for create, for make an impact to, to the country. I come in politics for make, for create, for help develop the country. Not for party allegiance. Right, thank you very much. That now is Skoka, we now the chairman. Well, that's now been Skoka, the chairman of the All Political Party Association, as you said, the listening. Wait till you get for say. Well, until then, let's we'll meet again. Me na si la kem takabo, na sa go se tata.